Hey guys, welcome to the business of art. Today we're going to go over payments and payment processing systems and getting paid for your art. First of all, uh, there are so many different ways and I hear a lot of people ask, which one is the best? Well, there's not really a good answer to that. Their fees are all pretty comparable and my policy in life is to actually accept all of them because I never want to tell someone, oh, I only take PayPal and then they go, oh, I don't take, I don't use PayPal. I only use Venmo and I go, well, darn, I can't make that sale, right? That doesn't make any sense. You would then logically go, oh, I take Venmo too, <laughs> you know? Um, so some of the online processing systems are PayPal, Venmo, there's Square Cash, and then there's now uh, Zelle, which is an instant bank transfer, which is pretty cool. And then of course there's always cash and then checks and then there's card readers so if you're at a show and whatnot there's card readers in terms of card readers it doesn't necessarily make any sense to have multiples from different systems because it doesn't matter what the customer uses you're just swiping their card so that is for you to choose and the two that i know of that are free are square or paypal i personally do pretty much everything through paypal so i use the paypal card reader if i'm ever at a show and whatnot selling paintings so that's, I would get one card reader from whichever you would like, and then I would online digitally uh, accept any form of payment whatsoever. There are also, of course, if you're selling through Etsy or other, you know, online retailers, a lot of times they have their own payment processing system. So you can just do that too, if for some reason you can't have PayPal or whatnot, you know, I don't know if there's different country restrictions and whatnot, but if for some reason you can only do that, they have their own payment processing systems. Just keep in mind that that will be additional. That will cost you more. So if you can make a sale outside of that at any time, like say someone just private messages you and says, hey, I'd like to buy that painting. Is it going to be up for sale soon? You don't have to then go put it up on Etsy and sell it. You can, of course. But you can also just be like, sure, let me go ahead and send you an invoice. What's your email? I'll send you an invoice. And then what I do is I send a PayPal invoice. If you use Square, you can also send invoices through Square. It is a little silly to type up an invoice and send it to them without any way for them to pay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if you just do like a PDF or something invoice and send it to them and don't tell them how to pay you, then that's making extra work for them and you're you know, it's, you don't, you want, don't want a long runway to making a sale. You want it to be as easy as possible for the customer. So I send them a PayPal invoice. They can pay right there. And then, and then that's that, you know what I mean? And if for some reason they go, oh, I can't do that for whatever reason, then I could work out something else. Another key thing that a lot of people don't know is you do not have to have a PayPal account to pay through PayPal. It is not required at all. You can check out as a guest at any time and pay with whatever you want. So that you can just let customers know if they ever say, well, I can't remember my PayPal login or I don't have PayPal. They can check out as a guest. You don't have to have an account. Pretty awesome, right? And one other thing to keep in mind is that there are always fees. Now, if someone is paying directly with their bank account, or with uh, money maybe that's already in their PayPal account, for instance, or Venmo, right? Let's take Venmo, for example, as another one. You're either paying with your bank or your Venmo balance. There's not gonna be any fees, which is awesome. But most people will be paying you with a credit card and then there's generally about a 3% fee. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I just consider it a cost of business personally, but you can also factor it in to the cost of your sale if you would like. And then um, lastly is obviously on checks. If you're at a fair or something, you would have to decide if you want to accept checks or not. That is the one place that I kind of tend to draw the line. I'm generally not going to accept a check from someone unless I actually personally know them. But that's up to you. I've seen too many things go wrong with that, like people canceling the checks afterwards or it being a fraudulent check or the check bouncing. And then you get additional fees for depositing a check that doesn't go through. And then if you have no way to chase up the customer, well, you just not only got an additional fee, you lost your 
your artwork that you sold them, you know what I mean? So my personal policy is to not accept checks, but you can make your own decisions on that. And coming up, I will show you how to send an invoice through PayPal. Uh, hopefully that will be helpful to you. That's what I recommend using, but that's just because I find it simpler. You know what I mean? Use whatever makes sense for you. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.